Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this look right here. It's a really dark brown smoky eye and I paired it with brown lips and brown cheeks just to give it a little bit of a monochromatic vibe. And I hope you guys really like how it turned out and if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So I primed my eyes with um, Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Eden and I set them with a little bit of face powder. So I'm going to try a different strategy while doing this. Today I'm going to be working off the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette because it literally has the best mattes ever. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to dip into this color. But instead of going in with a fluffy brush, I'm using something like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to start kind of drawing it above my crease. Kind of like how you would do a cut crease. I'm taking that all the way out and all the way in. Now I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush. This one is from Sephora. And I'm going to start blending that out. This is the part you should really take your time with, you guys. Um, blending can take a while. Sometimes you really want this to look really smooth with no harsh lines. So just take your time and blend. Next, I'm going to mix this light brown color with a little bit darker color. We're working with dark colors. That's why I haven't done my face yet. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on the lid and you can start to slowly bring that up in not into the crease but like kind of right below it I know it's looking a little messy right now but I promise it'll look good in the end <laughs> I hope so next I'm gonna dip into this darkest color this is the dark brown this is a really really small shader brush and what I'm going to do with this is just take it along the top lash line, like that. If you want it to be smokier, you could use a black for this step. This is just going to darken up the lash line, make the look a little bit more smoky. So I'm just taking this small brush right here and I'm just going to blend out these edges. Next, I am going to tight line. Also going to take that on the bottom lash line. And then take a smudger brush with a little bit of black eyeshadow on it to smudge out that liner a little bit. I'm taking some of that reddish color that we have in the crease and I'm just going under that black shadow to kind of soften it a bit. Now of course if you don't want it to be this smoky, just don't bring down um, the black this low. I just want this to look really smoky and blown out, that's why I'm doing it like this. And then I'm kind of just like connecting it. So I'm going to stop working on the eyes for a second and continue with the face. I'm using Smashbox new photo finish primerizer. This is supposed to be like a hydrator and primer in one and I love those type of primers. It feels really really watery. But it's sinking in really fast. It is hydrating for sure. And it's a little bit tacky. So you guys have seen me apply foundation a bunch of times. So I'm just going to go do all of that off camera. I'll just tell you guys quickly what I'm using. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation and Milk Makeup's Flex Concealer. And I'll be back. 
So I'm going to apply the Dior Show New Look Mascara. Now if you feel like you messed up somewhere, you can always go in with like a color like this with a brush and then kind of just go over the sides like if you feel like you got too far, far up or you feel like it doesn't look blended right here you can just go in and kind of use this as an eraser so I do want to do a bit of a monochromatic theme for this look so the first thing I'm going to do is go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette I'm going to dip into the middle and darkest color and I'm going to use that to bronze. I'm also going to take that around the forehead area and the jawline, hide the double chin always. I also like to take it down the neck like this and I also connect it kind of like that. I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go into the lightest color. This is a MAC 188 dual fiber brush and I'm going to do a really soft contour. If you pull it upwards like this, then the contour looks a lot more soft and not as harsh. I'm going to squeeze that brush and go down the nose. I'm not doing like any precise contouring or anything, Just as, this is just so everything looks um, consistent. For blush today, I'm going to go into the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going to use this color. I'm going to put a little bit of that into it just so it's not um, too harsh and I'm going to just lightly apply that to the cheeks. Surprisingly, I don't want a lot of highlight with this look. I want to keep it pretty subtle. I want the focus to be on the eyes. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Matte Highlight in the color 01. It's a really pretty champagne color. I feel like that's how I describe every single highlight I use. Go watch the other videos and tell me if that's what I do. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm going to go in with this Anastasia A23 and I am going to highlight the cheekbones. I always take the highlight right here above the brow. Always, always. I always take it down the nose. This highlight is so beautiful. I'm going to take a small eye brush, dip it into the highlight, and use that to kind of highlight the brow bone a little bit. So there's two shade of lipsticks I'm trying to de de decide between. So there's Buxom one, it's a really pretty brown, and then there's this Kylie Ginger. I want the lip to be a little bit brown as well, just to go with everything else. I'll decide, go put it on, and then I'll be back. So I went with the Buxom one. I just feel like it suits the look a little bit more. But yeah, you guys, that is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.